It's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up GitHub pages for your GitHub account. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up your code editor and get the website that you want to deploy to it. It could be anything that is a static website. GitHub pages will not host servers, so you can't do like a Node.js project and have GitHub pages use it. And another thing that it has to have is it also has to have a valid HTML website in it, which means that you can just fire it up in a web browser and have it work perfectly. So this means that it has to have an index.html in the root folder that you're deploying it to, or in a subfolder, depending how you want to use the GitHub Pages website. So I already have one built, and it is the Theos Tech Tips website. And for those of you who have seen it, I have already actually used GitHub Pages to deploy this. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to redeploy it. So I have my website open up here, and we need to open up our GitHub account to deploy it. So the first thing you want to do is to go make a new repository right over here. And for the repository name, this has to be something super specific. You can't just say like my website. Um, in order for GitHub to recognize it as a GitHub pages website, you need to call it your GitHub username dot GitHub dot IO. Okay. And even if you select private for your repository, the website is still going to be public. So if they have the address, they'll be able to access it. It doesn't matter the visibility of the code. So I'm just going to ignore the rest and create the repository. And we are going to set up our repository here. So we're just going to make our first commit. And if you don't know how to use Git, I will be making a tutorial on that soon, but we're just going to push this to our repository. All right, so if you reload, we will see our code right over here. So if you reload this, we could see GitHub pages already working right over here. And that's good because that means that it recognized that our app is a valid GitHub Pages website. So after a bit, the GitHub Pages environment will be finished and you can see it says active. So now our domain is basically going to be the name of our repository. So it's just math, boy11.github.io. The website is totally working here on GitHub Pages. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Theos Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.